and Montana won. And that's that's a Jacob's ladder that we'll never see finish, but we'll at the end see it form at least. And it only goes back to the 29th. But, okay, there we have the cosmic bullets coming up from the low right. So south, east to northwest. And so they also, this, uh, this technology was invented by a primitive form of pushing something small like 20 watts down into the earth to see what was absorbed and what was returned. And that's interesting because they definitely, and <laughs> that came from the low left to high right, and they came kind of slowly because it direction seemed apparent. It also seemed as though they were getting quite a bit larger. So one of the things I'm wondering about is if we're looking down at this thing from above and it's a cone, perhaps, then could it be that they are concentrating energy into the ground? And it's the ground that we see shaking, vibrating, resonating, like a bell. The seismographic data has very, very long interval signatures and yet on top of those very low long duration waves uh, they modulate super high frequency on top of it using a pulse of a trillionth of a second of being the technical max limit we found that came straight down. Just look at all these pretty features. And these things don't show up as clouds, although those probably do. And in this, well, I was going to say I don't see uh, human intervention here, but I do. Wow. Now, just look at look at the structure there versus the the defined structure here and here, and look at those beams, which are the lack of data as in destructive interference. And then you have to wonder if it exists or if it's pushed into a different frequency as two waves merging, which would cancel each other out with respect to the camera's eye. Now anything with a red in it is almost certainly a real cloud, I'm guessing. And we, they use this thing to communicate with submarines now. There was a time when in the upper peninsula of Michigan they buried a very long antenna which they used to communicate with the submarines around the world, deep underwater, a very low bandwidth. They're able to do it with a much higher bandwidth uh, using this technology. But just for giggles, sportsmanship, that made me smile even. The Russians used our antenna to talk to their submarines 
after we completed building it but before we turned it on and they just energized it from a satellite for braggers rights it is conceivable that from space these systems look at, look at that. <laughs> that was and that was I called that one well that was pretty in its formation and I wasn't even paying attention to the near deadline there okay that's Montana one 